Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. we're here, you know what I mean, like, we're, we're, we're here. Go ahead, no, 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 keep that same energy. You already know what it is. You my brother, I can't watch you die, so I turn my head. I'm gonna turn my head. I got to turn my head. A few moments later. It's crime scene. See them lights? Crime scene. Uh, like a block or two. Got murdered. It is. Uh, you guys know what's going on. Uh, there's only one team um, <clears throat> still in the playoffs. Yes. I, um, yes. It was a, a, a giant upset, a giant dismantling, <laughs> a giant um, annihilation. Man, you know what would suck if I was at that game and I was a Giants fan. I was just saying it would suck for me to just be there watching the game, watching my team lose like that. You know what I'm saying? Could you re Oh, wait, you was there. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's, it's good. Hey, you got to go down with the ship, all right? It's, I it's went down right. you, with the ship. Yeah. Did you leave at the top of the fourth? Because that was the best time. Yeah, I left at the top of the fourth. Yeah, you should. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, track 95 get a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, that salute was... to the gang, you know what I'm saying? The bird gang. And not only did we beat the Giants, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, we beat the 49ers, who was like, I don't know. They, 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 they I don't know. I, I, I want to say they was definitely looking like they was going to the chip. Even I had a little bit of doubt. Yeah. I had just like a little bit of doubt. And I said, listen, if we, if we shut McCaffrey down, mm -hmm. we got a problem. Right. Here we are. Uh, Arizona, you know what I'm saying? Here we come, you know what I'm saying? Bird gang and all of that, you know what I'm saying? I just need you to do me a favor. Go ahead, hold on to that. As you went home, oh, as you whoa. went home, 95, I was waiting to just hand that to you, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, you know what I mean? It's all good. We're here. We're here now. Well, I'm here. <laughs> I am not here right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I am not here, but, um, I am here. Uh, it was definitely uh, an experience in Philadelphia. I will tell you, they are they they are not a really nice crowd. You no. know what I mean? They they definitely will let you. It was people that were there that knew who I was. Mm -hmm. Still said what up? Yeah. I appreciate everything that you do, but, but get the fuck out exactly. of my building. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew what? It. Listen. I was like, <laughs> yo. We mad love, games. no straight up man, mad love to the city of Philadelphia man, y'all deserve, y'all had the best season out of everybody, you know what I'm saying, y'all clipped the whole division, you earned it, you had the best offense, the best defense, and they deserve it, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and my pops, rest in peace, was an Eagles fan, of, you know, like, like, we always used to have at it, so, yeah. you know, I want the Eagles to win, you know what I'm saying, but uh, Patrick Mahomes, if anybody is 100%, he's gonna have something to say about that, you yeah. know what I'm saying, but if he's, if he's like how he was on one leg, Oh, no, 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 no. That's 300 plus yards on one leg. The Eagles will get leg. to you, though. The Eagles are going to get to you. I mean, yeah. They're, they're, they're Listen, my you. man Fletch, my man Fletch is known. Hassan Riddick kill. is getting at you. He, he might, my man broke his arm the first play of the game. Mm -hmm. Out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a monster. So, yeah. I mean, you know, but but the Kansas City Chiefs got a good team, and they got Andy Reid. If anybody knows what they're facing coming into Philadelphia. It better it be, be Andy. Andy Reed, it better you know be Andy. So, you know I can't say that Welcome much. Home. You know what I mean? So y'all just gonna try to, you know, escort him out. Show him in, show him out. See, the first one was a fluke without Randy. The mm -hmm. first one, I'll admit, first one was But he, a fluke. he didn't coach at the link, right? He no, was at the old no, vet, no, right? He, no, 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 he did coach at uh, the yeah, uh, early, early link. Yeah, early, yeah, early yeah. Link. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. um, because, yeah, they have, yeah, yeah, it was early link, early okay. link. But what I'm saying is, Andy Reeve doing what he did, and it was around that time, you know, you know, he coached one of the best Eagles that we've had. 
until now. You know what I'm saying? So welcome home, Andy Reid. Let me show you the new house. Let me show you where things is. Let me show you where your room used to be. Cause now it's about to hold two of them bold trophies. Right, right. Two of them joints. Right, right. And we about to get one on you. And not just not so much show them and show them out, because obviously it's not in Philadelphia, it's in Arizona. Yeah. But uh, just the know of the organization. I mean, he doesn't have any inside now, you know, it's a totally different Oh yeah, oh yeah. But uh you know he knows the he knows the team. You know what I mean from from being around coaches. There's a couple people in the still there, but yeah. yeah, but uh, should be a really good game. But you know what else should be a really good game? Mm -hmm. Danny Myers versus Charlie Clips. Um, is this this what year is this? 2023. Didn't this didn't this happen before? Oh, okay. I thought this was. This well, this was before Danny was Danny, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, but Danny was Danny then, and this, and this was around that time where Charlie kind of was like playing around yeah, 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 Charlie. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we got this. So it's a rematch. Okay. It's a rematch mm -hmm. of a good battle that could happen, <clears throat> that that could potentially happen. Um, I like it. Okay. I like. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You know, for the competition that Danny needs to be getting, Clips can. And Clips is up there. Um, but I don't know. I I I just feel like after that should battle, it's like. What exactly can Charlie do to overcome pretty much everything that Danny has a doomsday written manual mm -hmm. for for Charlie Clips? Like you get what I'm saying? Like if it comes to the rebuttaling, Danny's gonna be better at rebuttaling. The only thing that Charlie Clips can do is be out, you know, out funny, mm -hmm. maybe out. I don't even want to say out perform because even after a crazy bar, this nigga has done no, jumping no, jacks. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. We I've seen Charlie Clips getting some crazy bags. His third versus B dot. His second you know versus Luke Cage. He could definitely get mm -hmm. into some material. See, the thing is, Charlie Clips does rebuttal well. Mm -hmm. He can freestyle. He yeah. freestyles every night all around the country on wilding out. This is true. He can freestyle. He can rebuttal. Uh, he can punch. He can get punchy with you. Mm -hmm. uh, he can do current events. He can, you know what I'm saying, uh, clown you. He can out rap some certain folks. And when it comes to Danny, my thing is this: Danny, there's only one. Dan there's only one version of Danny Myers that I would like to come to the front. All the other versions, y'all can sit down. I'm gonna talk to this version, and mm -hmm. he needs to be somewhere in the vicinity. The Danny Myers that battled Tay Rock. Top of the you year. have to be able to step in, control a room, and show dominance. See, the only thing that will get you to your dominance is prominence. And I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you need to be moving strong. Like, don't over lyrical, miracle, mythical. No, you got to get to the punch, the dominoes, little Caesars, mm -hmm. the shit that you was doing, push ups on the floor and all of that. Yeah. Yes. The old angles and all of that, man, we don't give a fuck about none of that shit. We want to see y'all rap at the highest level. Because the thing is, Charlie Clips will joke. He will talk about the 12K. He will talk about him having all these kids. He will do all of that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just Charlie Clips. Like, you know, there's certain things, no matter how many times they've been said to you, you know Charlie Clips is going to say them in a different way. You know Thanks. Right? I mean, I can't get mad. I'm not going to get mad at, at what you're saying about Clips. It's just, it's a what have you done for me lately. Type mm -hmm. situation, um, and I'm not saying I'm disappointed in what Charlie Clips brought to the table versus Shug because the battle itself was really good. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it was a certain. It was the most that we could tell. He had telltale signs of up. Oh, he's about to freestyle. Up. Oh, he doesn't know exactly what he's about to do. He's about to uh, lose out on the crowd. Now because of those multi facets that Clips has mm -hmm. as far as crowd control, he can do that. But it's a hit or a miss when it comes to Charlie when he right, does things right, like right. that. Whereas Danny. He aims for the punch, so therefore, whatever he hit or whatever Charlie can hit or miss on, Danny's gonna have a punchline for what he hit or what he could have missed on. So it's like, I don't yeah. know. Danny has too many, too many variables. Right, but I've seen Danny, I've seen Charlie clips use rebuttals to the point where they're so strong that they're room rockers. Like, yeah. He's like, oh, see what you're saying? You talking about me, I throw that clip in. Mm -hmm. Oh, you pull that mask down, that's enough room for me to stick my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When he battling yeah. his yeah. beat yeah. up, he could shake a whole room mm -hmm. with a rebuttal. And the reason why I like this, cause I say he's on TV every day and pouring in front of large crowds and he knows how to get that reaction. Right. Danny Myers, yes, lyrical. Bar God. It's not just a punchline God. It's a bar God. God. It's bars on top of bars. It's similes. It's cadence. It's multis. It's different facets of flows and being able to break down opponents. But at the same time, if it's a bigger crowd there, the advantage goes to Clips. Because the thing is, 
Danny Myers don't have too many notable big stage performances. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, when he gets on the bigger stage, he may have some battles that he'll win, but his dominance, his strong suit is in the smaller rooms. Am I bugging? No, you're not bugging. It's, but there are, it's, it's far fewer when it comes to the big rooms. Like, you know, I've seen him twice, actually. I've seen him perform against Cuban, and niggas say that Cuban won that battle. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've seen him perform against, uh, 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 damn, I just saw him, uh, uh, Summer Madness. Fonz. But my thing is this. If you say if you were if you were making a vote for to pick top to pick your top ten MCs to go battle on a big stage, he's probably not gonna be in them ten. Nah. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I ain't talking about fringe performances. Yeah. You either got it or you, or you don't. You know what I'm saying? The big stage is no in between. Like you could you could progressively like build up. Like I remember when JC was performing on big stages, he wasn't really like you know what right. I'm saying? And he he stepped his shit up. You know what I mean? There's other MCs who stepped their shit up, and now they fire on big stages. I remember when Swamp first got, he wasn't captivating them shits like he is now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like easy, his shits went way up there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's all about learning and progression. But um, I think in this battle, man, advantage to me. I love what Danny Myers can do, but I'm leaning clips two one, man. How you feeling? I'm not gonna hold you. I, I kind of wanna, I, I wanna uh, poke the bear. I'm not, I'm not gonna hold you. Eclipse is always gonna be top five for me. Yeah, so yeah. Eclipse will always be top five. But I go for the one who wants to do the kill most, mm -hmm. and I think that Danny Myers definitely wants to. Ah, uh, right, right, so right. We'll go right, with Danny right, on right. that. And, 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 and you gotta, you do have. Sometimes Clips gets into these long, drawn out schemes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'll be like, uh, you should be at home with your 11 kids, you know, 11, with your wife and, le on, wife and 11 kids on some retired shit. Mm -hmm. I got the remote control, I fire sticks. Like, he do all of that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cool, right. but it's like, you know, to be, like, to be continued. Yeah, like, it's gonna be the scheme, I see what you're saying. To be continued, I'm clapping y'all five. Mm -hmm. Pull up, hop out, Amazon Prime, like you know what I'm saying, like all of that shit. You do that it. shit, I got and it. sometimes it's good, but at the same time, you got a lyrical miracle, mythical wizard yeah. in the Danny he's, Myers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's gonna. I think if Danny Myers really like focuses on having those big stage bars, as I call them, like them haymakers, that's gonna really, really be able to pack a punch. Mm -hmm. I think he's gonna do good. But sometimes the the bigger the crowd get. When you're into molecular physics and depth, you know what you're I'm not saying? Hearing it. Your head is dismissing. I'm depth like like devilish with it. You like mm -hmm. that's cool and fire. Part, part, you know what I'm saying? Similes and bars. But I go crazy when I hear stuff like that. I know you I'm do, not but I not do. the crowd. <laughs> I do the crowd. The crowd like niggas be having to hear that. Yeah. Because sometimes niggas be so high. What does it lead to? They'll be like, oh, what did he say? What right. did he say? I missed right. it. I missed it. Mm -hmm. You gotta repeat the shit again. But um, I would say if it was like. Fan duel like a sport. I would have Charlie Clips plus one. Like it wouldn't be. It would not be far. Yeah. It's not a close. It's not a. I got to be really debatable. But yeah. if I got to pick one, I think I'm gonna lean towards uh, Charlie Clips two yeah. one. And you're going. I'm gonna go Danny. Oh, I'm gonna go Danny. Yeah. So you know, you know, I lost the uh, the <laughs> Super Bowl. You right. know what I'm saying? Going there, so I might as well double Giants back. Giants is not going to no damn Super Bowl. We right. was going, let's keep, we, let's keep oh, it. If we if we got by y'all and had that same luck where it's 49ers, Yo, we was on the way. Nah. We was on the way. Nah. We would have beat them with no quarterback. Nah, you bugging. We would have beat them niggas with no quarterback. Y'all both got bugging. the same lane quarterbacks. Like, bugging. it would have just been a different. We wouldn't have beat the 49ers with so, no quarterback? Maybe? I think, I don't know. Oh my God! Caffrey definitely would have. No, had what? Caffrey yeah, yeah, he would have, but he wouldn't have beat us though. We'd have beat them niggas, man. I'm telling you, with no quarterback. That's cool. I love, I love the faith that you have in your team, and that's great. I got something for you next year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is, listen, this is, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. This is my first year coming into having a winning team. You know what I'm saying? Like we put some things together, we put some things on paper, and, and we ain't really have nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's no excuse. But at the end of the day, we ain't had the talent, you know what I'm saying, that we needed to win. And we come back next year, you know what I mean? We'll see what If happens. we lose again, then it'll be another story. Yeah. But I think we'll be better next year, man. Yeah, good luck. We're going to take y'all out. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we're done it for next year. I think y'all are two years, uh, yeah, about nah, to say it's two years. No, we, next year. We're coming back next okay. year. 11 and 5, bare minimal. But you already know what it is, gang.